What's up, peeps? Thanks for joining me. My name's Damon Warren, and this is Day One Adventures. And today, this is a hard video for me to do. In my YouTube vlogging journey, it, there's been ups and downs, and today was kind of a downer. So for probably about the th last three, four years, I have been going to the Delaware State Fair. I go to the website, I submit for um, media credentials. And what the media credentials basically allow me to do is walk around with my camera, document what's going on. You know, I'm not out there doing anything nefarious with my camera. I send them the links and everything. It's, it's kind of like a mutual understanding as far as I'm, I'm concerned. Until this year. I didn't get credentials. I got up early on Saturday morning, prepared to go there and shoot, and I was going to do some interviews this year like I do every year, see what was going on. And when I got there, they said they didn't have anything for me. And because they didn't reply, I should have known I didn't get it, and that was it. And if I really wanted to go, I should have called. And I felt some like, they were putting it on me, but it, it seems that when I'm covering something like that, it's a mutual understanding that I'm giving them some advertisement and I'm getting content. I felt kind of let down by the process and I had a discussion with a person and they, they just, it seemed like they didn't take YouTube and me vlogging serious. I don't know if they even looked at my content, saw what I do. They just saw me show up and were like, no. Now, when those things happen, when I'm out there vlogging, and this, this has happened a couple of different times at different places, I, I sit there and I go, why did I actually start vlogging? See, I, when I started vlogging years ago, it was to really connect with the community. I was doing like the Lions Club, I still do, and different things like that. And as things started to progress, I would do maybe larger events, letting people know what this event is like in case you've never gone. I've got emails and messages from people saying, thank you for covering this event because I never knew it was like that. So what wound up happening, I was in the parking lot of a place, got my breakfast, calmed down a little bit, and I saw some people with nice cars talking. And I said, you know, car communities are always nice things, giving back to the community. And there's no gatekeepers. There, it's one of those things where you don't have to go through somebody to go there. It's all welcome. So I asked them, where does the car show? And they said, hey, the car show's over here. We're gonna meet up here and then we're gonna have like a little parade and everything. And then we're gonna go to this place in Milford. I never really been to Milford, but I was like, all right, let's go. Pull, plugged it into the, the thing. I caught the cars coming out. They went over to this, this school parking lot and they parked all the cars and everything. Come to find out, this was part of, of an event that has been going on for 34 years. It's called bringing it to the streets or take it to the streets. And it's a community event and they just had everybody show up in the community. There was free food, water ice, they were playing games, there were bounce houses, it was a thing for community. They were, even had boxes of food for people in need. And the car show was helping to support that. That is the essence of what I do on this channel. I like to provide people with access to things that they don't have access to so they can see what's going on. Yes, I do like doing the larger places, but now I feel like maybe I shouldn't talk to them prior to going. I should just walk in there and see what happens and see how they treat everybody. Because um, the fact they were, they were just like, yeah, no recording. So I don't know if it's because Ludacris was playing today, but it, it doesn't matter. If that was the issue, then I feel like they should have told me something. And I feel like if I submitted in February, there could have been five minutes to say, hey, you didn't get it. And gave me a reason why. Instead, there was just, we're not gonna reply and I was treated like, no. If you were a vlogger out there, have you had an experience like that? What did you do when something like that happens? Let me know. Um, yeah, it's very challenging, but you know, I learned from this and it's learning to pivot and bounce when things like that happen. I'm looking forward to editing the video I got today and really showing this to people who really care about the community. If you don't feel like you're welcome where you are, go to a place where you feel welcome. 
So until next adventure, remember, take care of each other. Peace out, and I'll see you all soon.